Freeze, Drifter! So, we meet again? Though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My name is Olga, by the way. Was it you fighting the Master of the Forest? Awesome. Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn it! Sorry, teacher. The locks are all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's council session, the pirates moved to attack your train, but they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind. But that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed. So just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alosha and I took the boat from. Did you forgive me? There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alyosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. And I am stuck in thought here. Once the master decided to haunt the vicinity, people all but stopped coming here, though they haven't forgotten. The teacher raised us all, taught us how to survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all be long dead. So the girls used to come here every day, and the boys still make it from time to time. Even Roman does visit. So it was because of him that the teacher left back then. Most of us went on a trip down the river. There were just a few people left on duty as a camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. Once we and the younger group were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves alone. The elder boys were nowhere to be seen. We helped the teacher with burying ours. It was dark already when the boys returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood. You could only see his eyes and teeth. Then, they started talking. Tracking was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were deer. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything, anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. Come morning, he was gone, to his church. At first, he wouldn't speak to anyone, but us girls kept checking up on him, just to bring him some berries, or ask for advice, and gradually, he started speaking to us. Still, he was like a different man, so distant. He never talked to the older boys anymore, though he'd reply to their letters, and to the rest of us who'd keep visiting him, he would always say we had to become their conscience, keep them from becoming monsters. But how do you do that? And they didn't stop at that either started calling themselves pirates, made the floated lumber mill in the swamp their private HQ. Then, they started hanging bandits from the posts, calling them monsters.
costs. One day they took about 10 bandits alive and used them to test all the boys. Made them kill the bastards. None of ours could do it. And they all got called cowards for that. And then got ostracized. That's how the pioneers came to be. Of course, they all calmed down by now. They are talking to each other at least. But back then, only Luda and I could speak for the teacher at the council meetings. In the end, Luda and a few boys just couldn't take it anymore and left. I wonder if they found a better place to live. I still keep checking the radio hoping to hear from them. The teacher hoped too, but that hope didn't last long. They left in July, and in September he shot himself. That seemed to get through to Roman. He got caught. Some of the elder guys went over to the pioneers. After all, the important thing is that we stay together. So... So now I have an important voice at the council. Cause I can kick ass if they don't listen. And not just because they're not supposed to hurt girls. A fair fight is a fair fight. Thing is, the only one I lost to in a fair fight was Roman. And even then, I gave him a blue eye he had to wear for a week. <laughs> that earned his respect. The one I had the most trouble with was the Admiral. He was Roman's right hand. Wouldn't leave the lumber mill no matter what. Kept saying we must defend it, if we don't want the mutants to eat the whole valley. But the radiation levels kept climbing there. Roman checked it with the counter himself. So at one council meeting, Roman and our instructors had everyone vote against the Admiral. And the pirates went on to build a new fort near the shore, where it's still okay to stay. The Admiral would have none of that. So he and his most hardcore flunkies stayed at the mill. I never heard from them again. Radiation's not to be played with. The teacher didn't warn us all for nothing. So now, without the Admiral, there is nobody who dare give me any trouble in the Council. I'll put a leash on them tonight, alright. Don't you worry. I just need some time to gather my thoughts. I don't like politics, really. You could listen to the teacher's diary if you like. He kept recording it. As if he knew. Yes. I must have heard it a hundred times already and still... We let him down. We really did. anymore 
Well, at tonight's console session, I'm going to remind them all what the teacher thought in the end. I'll give them a piece of my mind. Did the teacher save us all so that we could just attack people? Defending ourselves is one thing, but attacking? They can't deny that, and we'll have to stand down. Those pirates... Oh, boys.
structure and I'm still nothing but mosquito hugging. Ah, damn, our luck is getting worse for the day. What are you going on about? Not what, but whom? You know the drifter that the pioneers caught? Yeah, what about it? That guy got away. But the problem is, he was not alone. So what? We'll catch them all anyways. The first one, maybe. The second one, no. Is a tough catch. Lots of people tried, no dice. <laughs> That's one sneaky bastard. Which means if we catch him... Yeah, we'll be saying our vows in the teacher's house tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled. This is our chance to become instructors.
Hey, who's that over there? Heads up, that pass. Was that the movement? Heads up, guys, it's the intruder! What's that? Hey, is that an intruder? Jora, do you know if anybody went to the church today? Don't think anyone did. Why? I heard shooting like there was no tomorrow. Thought it was the bandits again. Then I saw the trees falling. Someone got the master mad. Oh, this place is creepy. I heard that too. Yes, that was creepy. definitely That's not one of our guys. Place. We've no fools here. <laughs> must have been the intruder. Yeah, must have. Do you think he got away? I doubt that. The master doesn't joke around. Mm, yeah. What's the point of standing here at all? I won't even have anywhere to hide if the master of the forest comes. I know what to do if I see the intruder first. Doctors always send me to the shittiest post. It was nothing. Should have stayed there.
Who's there? Let's see. I know what to do if I see the intruder first, but what if he sees me first? Stand here alone. This is not the way friends should arrive. What? Hey, who's there? <laughs> there he is, an intruder! You dirty bandit! Stand here alone. This is not the way friends should arrange things. I think there's something down there. I saw something down here, so where is it now?
cut your tongue. So you can't knock on the door anymore, eh? As the teacher said, courtesy distinguishes us from bandits and other animals. Wait a moment. You're not one of ours. A bandit, then. Don't look like one. Though you never know with them bandits. Different shit every day. Am I right or what, Senya? You're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! Ah, uh, quit your yapping. Making a worse racket than the damn aquas in heat. No respect for our guest, either. He can't get a word in edgewise. Don't mind them. To our meeting. That's a good tea. The fussy, ground-loving rats don't drink it, though. Radiation! Radiation! Radiation, my ass! Radiation! Just look at us! Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be! <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. They all left. We're they all left. forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that, don't you now? Yes, he was here! I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot! And the other ground-loving rats, too! They all forgot we're protecting them all with our lives here. At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! Didn't they, boys? Yeah, they did! They shouted their throats sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits we shot! There you have it. My boys do remember. And those don't. You could always count on them when you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names. Aye, but when the going got tough and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds, they changed their tune. Oh, radiation. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, the girls say teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out. Well, fighting the Aquas ain't as fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who rats. they are. Ground-loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher, or the girls. If doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. So, they all left. The cowards. Whew. 
Even the pioneers have more spine than that slime. They followed the Vanilla to the dam. They were going to dig the tunnels and then go along the reservoir, those adventurers. I have no idea if they actually got anywhere. But they weren't afraid of no radiation, that's for certain. Well, the only person who still has balls in that sorry lot is Olga. She did visit us a lot here, and she always thrashed those cowards at council sessions. Visit us, my ass! It's you who she visit! Yeah, right. Me! Though, if not for my spine wound, Olga and I would have turned this valley upside down. But now, who needs a cripple? To hell with her! A woman on a ship is bad luck. Besides, we stayed with you. Yes. My boys did stay here. I had to do some persuading to make them stay, though. Even you were going to abandon your old friend, weren't you? Weren't you? Come on, Admiral, sir. We'd never do that. Yeah, yeah. Tell that to this new guy. He seems to be all ears. But I can read you all like a book. And I say, you are going to leave me. And had I not brewed mighty, extra, super strong that day, you would have. No doubt about that. Hey, careful with the guitar! Got it, sir. I'll be careful. Come on, remember, this thing is an instrument. Yes, sir. An instrument. What the hell is up with you today? Do you want to scrub the deck so bad? Sorry, Admiral. Don't be sorry. Be better. How about you play something instead of dropping that guitar? I'd go for a shanty. Yes, Admiral. One shanty to coming up. Her. To hell. You're all brown loving rats. Yes, I've been thinking. Why don't we have a smoke? I say we should. Oh, this is good. Strong, the way I like it. This tea is as good for smoking as it is for brewing. It can also cure any sickness and solve your marital problems. <laughs> this smell is an acquired taste, but I like it a lot. And my boys here don't have any problems with it. Not anymore.